McDonald's in Moultrie on Thursday to a Texas mall over the weekend. The headlines locally and nationwide have two themes in common. Shootings and suspects with alleged mental health disorders. WALB News 10's Jamie Worsley is in the studio now. And she, Jamie, you spoke with a mental health professional earlier today on WALB News Now. Did she say whether or not mental health counseling can prevent more shootings in the future? Well, Carla, Jim, mental health counseling is just one approach to prevention, but barriers to mental health access present a challenge. Nationally, there is a shortage of mental health workers, and even if someone does want to seek therapy, lack of money for services or transportation to appointments can also make treatment difficult. Now, things like medical issues, medication withdrawal, trauma, personality disorders, and the inability to control emotions are all factors that could trigger someone to become violent and need that counseling. On WAOB News Now, I spoke with a behavioral health expert, Pam Smith, and she tells me that she believes court-mandated counseling does work for individuals already in the criminal justice system. The self-referred client a lot of times will drop out of counseling and never, you know, achieve that change. And through court ordered counseling, where I get the opportunity to work with individuals that are pretty treatment resistant sometimes for two to three years, we achieve some great outcomes. And then on top of it, I also become a partner sometimes with law enforcement or supervision teams. So we really have a, a safety net in place to keep you know, some of these bad things from happening. Well, Smith also says that physicians can help to diagnose personality disorders before someone becomes violent. If you are referred to therapy or counseling, you should also research providers to determine which one is right for you. If you have feelings of aggression and don't know where to start with getting help, you can always reach out to a police department or a domestic violence shelter. They'll be able to connect you with a mental health professional. For WAOB News 10, I'm Jamie Worsley, your hometown news source.